Hello everybody, Eden here. In this video I'll talk about a really amazing tool inside 3D code and I like to make these short videos about the tools that stand out like I've never seen anything like that in other softwares and I've used a whole bunch of them and sometimes it can be a thing that's really unnoticed, not really featured by 3D code users but I want just specifically do a video about it. Okay, so I'll just start with uh, I need a test subject to do the Veen. I have this fancy rock I did a, a while ago back in my ZBrush days, you know, about three years ago. Here I've decimated it down using the decimate <coughs> command here down to um, 15,000 triangles and it's pretty high poly count but I needed something pretty complicated to show off this feature. All right, and just let's send it to Retopo room. I send it by Retopo by decimation. You click cancel, and it will just jump in. All right, so now I, w I want to, for example, <laughs> I want to EV this stuff. Right, this is. <coughs> so the thing is that when you have a triangulated mesh, the the first issue you get when you're trying to cut the seams, it's really freaking hard to pick a seam. You can spend a lot of time picking a seam because in Maya for example or in 3ds Max if you double click on a qu qu quadrantulated mesh it's got a bunch of quotes it's really easy to pick up an edge loop but if there is no edge loops there if it's triangulated mesh you, you cannot really pick it up so that's a huge huge problem but in 3D code got this UV path tool uh, cancel cancel that UV path tool that that can find a train uh, a seam on a triangulated mesh, not find a seam, but it allows you to make a make a seam on a triangulated mesh. So you just put a marker here, then you put an X point here, and then put an X point here, and it will try to find the best way uh, along the edge. So, like here, I can see it's not really the best way, so I'll just put a new point there, and then I'll drag it using my left uh, mouse button to that point, right? So I go back to here and I just start really going around of oh, this really complex mesh for uh, for UV in because uh, what I had to do before that because the finding an edge loop for seems was such a huge problem. I, I would I would almost always have to do a proper topology, right? I would have to do quotes all over. Like I could do auto topology inside 3D code, so I could then cut out all the shells. But I never could deal with the triangulated meshes unless I just in, needed a quick UVs like automatic mapping in Maya. I would just drop the UVs and deal with it later. And this tool is a huge, huge relief. Okay, so I've I can see I've done the whole loop, but I cannot connect the faces here, right? So uh, it's a bit of an issue in 3D code. So I have to press Enter. It it records my loop. Then I do this, and you see I've got a shell right here. So again let's and i mean if you want to do something really quick it, it the 3d code will find you know any type of a path you know like all right i want just this and then it remembers that marker is there so i'll just cut something to here then i'll go up to here and i can see that it's really not an optimal way and I, oops i put my marker in the wrong place Sometimes, okay, there is an issue with UV path. Sometimes it cannot pick the mesh in a proper way, so I have to start uh, looking for better, you know, a camera angle to find it. And now, and then I move it around and put my marker there and drag it over there. And this is really an amazing tool. Like UV layout, headers UV layout, the software that I think is the best in the market for UV doesn't have it. We will have, does have a lot, whole bunch of other cool features, but not this particular one. Uh, at least not in the 
version I have. Maybe in the new version they have it, but not in the last one I used. Alright, so I've got this, and I will do a different video about the whole process where you can do a high risk sculpt, in s of, for example, of a rock inside 3D code, and you do decimation, you do all this UV in and then you bake the texture. So I found that in 3D code is actually a software that where you can put everything together. I was experimenting a lot in recent couple of weeks. I uh, just trying to push it further because I already see in different videos sometimes people don't don't treat it as really a professional tool because you need to think differently when you think about a scale of how do you approach a lot of different assets there are certain um, certain hassles in 3d code when you do that but I think I found a few ways how to deal with stuff and some ways that you shouldn't use and uh, yeah I found that 3d code is definitely a, a, a way of no way you can do everything in one place. All right, so you could have seen that I for I've forgotten to drop my marker. Right, my marker was somewhere there, and I started to I wanted to cut it somewhere here, and then it started to you know create this issue. So I press Escape, and I, <coughs> I drop all the points. All right, so I'll just uh, do a couple other shelves and. To Though you know, to be honest, I'm a bit of a um, bit of a lazy guy, so <laughs> I'll have done these shells. Uh, then I hit just the unwrap, and automatic unwrap here is pretty good. I'm still learning all the tool sets, so we can see that uh, the whole mesh that hasn't been properly cut is obviously a huge blob, huge mess. But the other guys are pretty decent, and it's all freaking triangulated awful to deal with in any other circumstance but 3D code gives you this great tool and you guys should check it out it's a great production tool uh, the UV path uh, finding thing alright uh, thank you guys for watching see you next time